guys, I'm Rob with FHG Marine. Uh, today we're going to be working on a CAT 3412, uh, which had a valve tick issue. Um, so basically today I'm going to show you a quick little video of pulling the cylinder head off the engine and inspecting the valve guides and stem clearance and uh, doing a check on those. So let's go ahead and check it out. We got the cylinder head on the bench. This is fresh out of the parts washer. Uh, we were trying to take some measurements on the, the guides and the clearance before, but we were worried there was some gum trapped in the guides and we'd give us inaccurate measurements. So we decided to uh, put the, the cylinder head into the parts washer, clean that out first, and then recheck them. Uh, so the first method we're using is this wiggle test um, with the test indicator. I'm going to feed the valve up into the guide and simply rock the valve back and forth and get a reading on this gauge here. So let's uh, check that one out. And then rock back 0.00, .00 a little past 3.5. Zero zero three five there. All right. So the next procedure we're trying is with the telescoping snap gauge. Drop this in. Um, get a measurement here with a outside mic, and we're going to take that measurement and compare it. So on this scale, we're reading point three seven four. And then the 10,000 spot on the vernier scale. Can't get this to focus very well. But there we go. So we got a 2 on the vernier scale. So 3, 7, 4, 2. And then here's our chart we just made up stem OD we measured with the outside mic and then the guide. And then the ones with the stars are out of spec. Yeah, so our max can be 3745 with the plus 0 .001 value there. Alright, so in conclusion, we had a couple that flagged the uh, guide bore check. Um, the 3750, for example, one on number 6, one that we looked at. And that one is 5 ten thousandths over. So we wanted a comparison um, whether or not the wiggle test was accurately reading the valve guide stem to clearance. Um, so here's some just simple math from one example uh, where we had the number six, uh, one of the intake valves and guide sets. Um, so on our chart we had 3750 uh, for the valve guide bore measurement. Um, the number six intake, the stem was 3715. That was the OD of the stem. So the difference there would be 0 0.0035. And then if you look back to our um, earlier in the video, 
uh, where we did the wiggle test with the test indicator, uh, we basically got that exact same value. We were 0 0.0035. So the wiggle test seems to read accurately as well as the measuring the stem and the guide and then subtracting the two values to get your clearance. Um, so that's a pretty accurate test uh, from our results. But the issue we did found, uh, find with doing the test this way is if you take your, um, your valve guide um, maximum diameter that it could be, which is 0.3745, and you subtract it from the minimum diameter that a stem could be, you get a clearance of 0 0.0041. Um, so they're basically saying if you do the math, uh, your guide can have a clearance of 0 0.0041. But that doesn't necessarily mean that one of the individual components, like the valve stem or the valve guide, could be still out of spec. Because um, our issue, back to our chart, was actually with the guides. So all the valve stems uh, were th within spec, but some of the guides were over. Like here we have 3750. Um, which is five ten thousandths over our our max. Um, so I think the most accurate way to do it is measure with the book and do the individual components. So measure the valve stems, the ODs, and measure the valve guides, the IDs, and then go based on your min and max values that they allow you to have. So three seven four five for the maximum bore of the guide, and then. Uh, minimum diameter of the stem you'd use this value and compare them that way don't don't bother with uh, doing the wiggle test or taking the clearance between the guide just measure the individual components and that seems to be your best bet